Hello and welcome to Down the Vent. My name's Joe. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Deadpool. What are you doing here? I know, right? Yeah, I mean, today we're taking a look at Deadpool versus the world, but I didn't think you were going to show up for this. I'll send your shiny happy ass a friend request. Okay, um, let's check out the game and see how it's played. Yeah. All right, whatever you say. So let's go down to the Okay, so the premise of Deadpool vs. the World is pretty simple. Every turn, <clears throat> one of the players is going to be the editor. They get to um, draw the top one of these uh, white cards, the WTF cards here, and um, play a face up in the middle of the table. And then everyone is going to choose, so let's say we got that one there. there we go. Deadpool is blowing up a toilet, right? Pretty good. Alright, so then everyone's going to have these caption cards in their hand, and they're going to get to look through and try to pick one that's funniest here, so, so there you go. It's got more fun than a barrel of blank. Well, what's the blank going to be? You get to fill it in. So, I don't know. I can't think of something right now because I'm not clever. So, I'm going to say more fun than the barrel of tacos is exploding in the bathroom after eating the barrel of tacos, I guess. So, uh, it's a little out of focus there. Let me see here. There you go. So, everyone's going to put in the cards here. So, we'll just put some random ones in. And then the editor's going to shuffle them up and not know who's is who because they're going to be face down like that. They'll pick them up, and then they're going to look through the, all of them, and then they're going to pick their favorite, and the person who's the favorite gets the the white WTF card in front of them, and then everyone else's cards just get discarded. Then you have more stuff to wipe off, because you have to wipe these off. So, um, that's pretty much the game. You keep going around, taking turns, being the editor, playing out the different Deadpool cards here. I mean, there's a lot of great, great graphics, or, or comics here. Um, some are gross but most of them were just funny. I mean, it's Deadpool, right? So you gotta expect ridiculousness. Um, so there's some of them there, and then there's tons and tons. There's 300 of these caption cards, so you just pretty much go around and play until people have X amount of caption cards. Um, they say to play to five, that's a recommendation. If you get bored, you can play less. If you love it, you can play until you've gone through the entire box and just see who has the most, but that is how you play Deadpool versus the world. Let's head up and see what I think about it. Okay, so what do I think of Deadpool versus the world? Oh, you'll tell me. Well, it's it's fun. Um, it's kind of a take on Cards Against Humanity where you get to make up what your white cards say, which is kind of cool, instead of just having kind of being forced to use what you were given in your hand. Um, the, the cards that you use, the, the, the black cards from Card Against Vanity, the, or the cards that are played in the center that people then have to put a caption to, are all, I mean, they're all just nice looking comics from the, from the different series and stuff like that. Um, the cards are really good quality, nice sturdy plastic. The Making it a wet erase marker instead of a dry erase is a really cool idea because then when everyone throws in their cards in the middle, if they get wiped off, someone's answer isn't wiped off when you pick it up. The only problem is that then, I mean, Cloudy. you can see this is from last time we played. You don't have to go through and actually wash off all these cards afterwards, which is not great. Um, I mean... Could you imagine playing the, through the entire box of cards? I, I don't even know how many are in here. There are 300 what erase cards. So if you went through all 300, uh, you're looking at some time to clean these up. Um, I'm so I've sorry. honestly played around with the idea of just leaving what's left on there uh, for people to use in the future. And But then that kind of takes away the novelty of the game. Um, overall, it, it, it's fun with the right group. Um, Serious gamers that I played it with weren't too impressed. Uh, people that were just looking to have some fun and kind of have a drink and relax enjoyed it though. So choose your crowd um, and get lots of paper towel 
and water to wipe off the ah, cards with, I guess. Fake but, laugh! Hiding uh, real pain. It's, it's, it's a good game. It, like I said, though, it just has its place. So, if you're looking for something serious and deep, skip this. If you're looking for something for just some fun and... And uh, the more players, the better. Don't do this. It says you can do it with three plus players, but that's, I mean, come on. You need a group of like eight people so that way you can see everyone's hilarious captions that they're writing. But um, yeah, so that's it for Deadpool vs. the World. Uh, my name is Joe, and you've been watching Down the Vent. Thanks. Bye bye. Motherfucker, you the world's worst friend. You're still here. It's over. Go home.